Now, we're used to hearing about having our pets microchipped, uh, aren't we? But what if your boss asked you to get a microchip implanted into your own hand? The first UK companies are looking at doing just that, using microchip technology permanently inserted into your hand to allow access to buildings instead of traditional key cards. It's something we've talked about and heard about before, but it could be actually happening pretty soon. It's emerging, of course, and is an unregulated technology. But does it have a future? Is it the future? Uh, well, Jennifer Rain is a biohacking specialist from Leicester. Uh, what do you think, Jennifer? Is this is this going to really take off now? Hi, Martin. Yeah, um, you know, I think this is, is a great idea. Um, and it's actually something that's been around for a little while. So I've been doing this for about seven years. Um, and these microchips have been around for, for well over a decade. So it's not really new technology per se. It's just a, a new way of using this. So, um, And I think in terms of business usage, uh, it's a really good way of uh, a new security measures. So, for example, all the um, GDPR that came into effect last year, um, businesses having to think outside the box a little bit to really update their um, security procedures. Um, something like this, the, the, the chip they would use in that circumstance is quite basic chip. Um, it would only be used for, say, door entry or access to a safe or access to a computer terminal. Um, basically anything with a digital lock system. So nothing to do with GPS or things like that that may have been suggested. Um, and I think it's, uh, it's, it's a really good idea because at the minute we're using swipe cards or maybe a pin code or the equivalent and those things can be lost or, or stolen very easily it's it's, it's a, a bit of an outdated method now yeah i'm just thinking though we already have technology for other things like um fingerprint and iris uh you know uh, ways of identifying people um surely uh, you said it was a basic microchip as well isn't that easier to copy or hack into than a fingerprint no with it being um sort of directly in your hand the only way anyone's going to copy that they would have to be pretty much holding your hand and pressing a device into it to be able to access it. And it's not just like a quick split second thing. It would be there for a few seconds and to be able to do whatever they were doing to it. So you would definitely know that somebody was doing that to you. Um, you know, you could report that as an offence if it happened, but it's not something that would happen without your knowledge. Whereas, say, the biometric securities that you're referring to for the, the retina scans and the fingerprints are very, very easy to duplicate and uh, and to imitate. So that's not secure at all. You'll find that most high-profile companies uh, do not use biometric uh, security systems for that reason. It's not that secure. How many companies are already looking into this then, do you think? Ah, no, I, I could only speculate at that. Um, and it would be the bigger companies, wouldn't it? It wouldn't be smaller companies at this stage. It would be, uh, you know, p probably global companies perhaps I, I'm, I'm guessing but the bigger companies uh, have to look at this and security is, a, is an issue for them so this will be an effective way of, of managing that wouldn't it yeah absolutely right martin i mean it is definitely for the the really big companies right now so it's um it's it's really for the the data protection of personal information so high profile companies need to ensure that their customer data for whatever industry isn't accessed without authorization within the, the buildings or, or by maybe members of the public that happen to get hold of a lost key card or something like that. So, mm. yes, definitely for, for larger companies right now. But I could certainly see within the next 10 years easily it filtering down to almost every industry, anything where there's a kill or a cash register involved, anything that would currently use a swipe card for like a supply closet access or, or anything like that. I can see this actually having uh, purposes in, in almost every industry. Fantastic. Uh, we'll look forward to that. I mean, there's an element of Big Brother about it, but um, uh, it can offer a lot of bonuses as well. Uh, thank you, Jennifer, for talking to us today. Um, don't let me forget to tell you, by the way, that uh, the Brits are on tonight. Stars of the music industry are arriving already, apparently, for the Brit Awards at the O2 in London. For the second year running, the host is the comedian Jack Whitehall. I heard a rumour that he might be singing tonight as well. Um, let's find out more from Chichi Izundu.